Hey what is up, for this video I'm in the folder mall layer, just beneath folder park. I will be comparing two melee setups to see which one is the best option to kill the giant mole with. To start killing the giant mole, I would highly advise you to have the Felder Hard Diary completed, as this unlocks a mole locator on the Felder Shield together with getting noted mole skins and mole claws. You will be receiving almost all GB from those two drops, so make sure to have the Felder Hard Diary completed. Besides the shield, bring along a spade, which is required to enter the lair, and a good light source like a Bruma torch, bullseye, lan lantern, Kenrin headgear or a fire making cape as they cannot be extinguished. Otherwise you should also bring a tinderbox. If you have making friends with my arm completed, you're able to light the fire pit at the entrance of the lair which will cost you like 150k in supplies and that will save you an inventory space as you do not need to bring a light source anymore. I will also bring along some runes to cast the high alchemy spell as the giant mole drops a few alcables as well. Let's get started and grab one of the two melee setups. Kicking things off with the iconic Derek's armor set, I'm bringing my health down to 1 HP with a locator orb boost my sets with a super combat potion and putting on three prayers being piety, preserve and protect from melee. I'm also flicking rapid heal once in a while or clicking on the locator orb to maintain that 1 HP as my potential damage is scaled on my HP with this armor set and X. You should put your attack style to slash with this setup as the giant mole is weaker to it than using the crush attack style. Besides a Derek armor set, I'm wearing a fire cape, a torture amulet and a Radha's Blessing, Ferocious Gloves, Primordial Boots and an imbued Berserker Ring. The only thing I could improve would be to wear an Infernal Cape, but achieving that is most definitely for later. You could downgrade a couple of things like wearing Barrow's Gloves, a Fury Amulet and Dragon Boots to lower the costs. Looking at my inventory, I've brought along 3 Super Combat Potions, 4 Seminus and 12 Prayer Potions. And at the end of this trip you will see that I could have switched around some potions but you'll experience this with every new setup. I also brought an Infernic Defender together with a Dragon Dagger to unleash a few specs. I'll be talking about spec weapons later. There is a small chance of receiving the cute baby mole pet, a 1 in 3000 and upon making this video I haven't got it yet. The person that is closest to guessing at which kill count I'm getting the baby mole pet will be awarded with an old school bond. And I'm planning on killing the giant mole more often, so if I get it, I will come back to this video, pin a comment and contact the winner. Also, only 2.2% of the people that watch my videos is subscribed to my channel. The giant mole's respawn time is 10 seconds. Some kills you will have to run around a lot, because when the giant mole's health is below 50%, there is a 1 in 4 chance for causing it to burrow away into another location. And you will have to run around. With the follower shield 3 or higher, you will see a red arrow pointing towards the location of the giant mole. I started at 265kc before my first kill in with this setup and another interesting thing to mention is that the average giant mole kill is worth around 22k gold pieces. You can see the time played in the report button at the bottom of my screen. I tried to be quite efficient using the idle notifier plugin in Runelight, as I was also playing on an alt account. I finished my trip at 40 minutes and ended up with a total of 303 kills, which made this trip 38 kills in 40 minutes or 57 kills per hour on average. As for the loot, we made around, or I made around 850k, which translates itself into over 1.2 million GP per hour without looking at the supply cost. And that's it about the Derek setup. Moving on to setup number two being Elite Void with the melee helm. The only things I changed beside the armor set were the Ferocious Gloves to Void Knight Gloves to get the da damage boost from the set and a Zamorakian Hesta along with an Avernic Defender. I took Divine Super Combat Potions with me instead of regular ones and to deal the most amount of damage I put my attack style on stab with this weapon as is the Giant Mole's biggest weakness. I switched my Dragon Dagger for a Crystal Halberd which is far better than the Dragon Dagger but I wouldn't even bring ADDS in the future. And the Crystal Halberd isn't too accurate either, so bring a Saradome in Godsword to regain some prayer points or some Dragon Claws to deal quick damage seem to be the best spec weapons in my thoughts. 
Bear in mind to not spec the giant mole with a weapon that unleashes multiple attacks at once when the giant mole's health is below 50% as it will most likely burrow even in between your hit splats. Because this American Hesta does not hit the high numbers that the Darox Axe is able to, I had to drink more stamina potions and had to run around a lot more as the chances for the giant mole to burrow itself are significantly higher. The Hesta seemed to be more accurate, but I lost most of my time running around, so you could say using Darox is more relaxing or AFK. With this setup, I continued from the last KC being 303 kill counts, and I decided to stop at the 40 minute mark as well as I did it with the Darox setup and ended up with 338 kills. That is 35 kills in 40 minutes or 53 kills per hour and with some supplies left in the inventory. As for the loot, 767k GP in these 40 minutes or 1150k per hour without looking at the supply cost. In short, Derek's is more AFK but both methods are racking up almost the same amount of kills per hour and with Dragon Claws you could even lift the numbers up by a bit. Still, the Giant Mole is a decent money maker if you're going for the pet, but having the Feldor Hard Diary completed is a must. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, it would be nice of you to drop a like and subscribe for future content. Also, if you want to enter my giveaway of 1 million GP, comment down your username, and the one that is closest to the kill count I'm getting the pet at will be awarded with a bond. As mentioned before, whenever I get it, I will pin it in the comments and contact the winner. I will see you in the next one.